Hello and a very warm welcome to you. Well, on the 14th of July, I posted a, a video entitled Bass Rock, Can Flat Earthers Explain This? So that's uh, about six days or so ago. And the title really explains what the video is about. Uh, the description also has the opening line, can any flat earthers provide a flat earth explanation for the missing part of the Bass Rock? Now in the video itself, I show two pictures of the Bass Rock, um, one taken from 37 meters elevation at Kinghorn in Fife, and the second one taken from five meter elevation at Dalgetty Bay in Fife. And clearly uh, the Bass Rock has reduced in size. Now Dalgetty, Dalgetty Bay is about 11 kilometers further away from the Bass Rock than uh, Kinghorn. So you might argue that this is just due to perspective. But if we overlay the uh, images in question, and just rescale them a little bit so that we line up the various features at the top of the Bass Rock here. Uh, we can see that it's not just that the Bass Rock is reduced uh, in apparent size by moving away that extra distance, as you would expect on a flat earth, um, but that the bottom two thirds or so of the island is completely obscured from our view. And I very clearly ask in the description for flat earthers to provide a flat earth based explanation for this observation. We also rather conveniently in the Dalgetty Bay image have a, a, a marker boy here, uh, which can actually be located uh, on uh, in, in the estuary, the distance from the camera to this marker boy. Uh, and, uh, and a sort of follow-up um, video who's going to ask the question uh, can you explain why this marker boy appears here uh, very close to but not quite at the horizon um, in the image when on a flat earth if the, the sea continued all the way out to the Bass Rock we should see the marker boy being uh, much lower down and we should also see another marker boy as well. I'm going to get on to uh, asking any of those follow-up questions because the responses I received from flat earthers uh, seem to have utterly missed the point. So I didn't get very many responses from flat earthers to my previous video. Um, a lot of flat earthers have seemed to have chosen to um, ignore my channel on the grounds that they keep seeing things that they can't explain. But a few did respond and, and I thank them for their responses, uh, but they all seem to get completely the wrong end of the stick. All of them have asked for uh, further details of the two um, photographs, you know, the locations they were taken from, how I established my elevation above sea level, um, what days they were taken, uh, and so on. So I published uh, another video um, entitled Flat Earth Cannot Provide an Explanation, which was uh, perhaps a little provocative. But in the um, description, it says that this is just to clear up any confusion about the request for an explanation in my previous video of this observation. And I show the um, two photographs again and the uh, nature of the observation which is that <coughs> excuse me when you overlay the, the images you can see that from five meter elevation at Dalgetty Bay the, um, the amount of the island that you can see is greatly reduced this is not due to perspective and I then give the spherical earth or globe earth explanation for the observation. And I use the uh, Metabunk curve um, 
interactive diagram to do so, which allows you to adjust um, the uh, viewer location or the uh, object location, the island in this case, or the camera height. And so we, since we have increased our, our distance to the target and reduced our camera height, then uh, as shown in this diagram, um, this spherical Earth explanation uh, is, is very clear and very simple. Uh, and you really don't need to know the precise details of exactly what camera height was or uh, the distance to the target was. You simply have to um, show that by changing the camera height, by reducing the camera height and increasing the distance, uh, you will um, hide more of the target object uh, than from a closer um, elevation and a higher camera target. And it really is that simple. That's what I asked the Flat Earthers to produce. They had all the information that they needed. Uh, simply some sort of a diagram, maybe on this uh, of this type. It didn't even need to be as detailed as this. Uh, that would explain the observation on a Flat Earth. Once we have one or more flat earth observ um, based um, observations or, or sorry explanations for the observation then we can go on to examine those explanations uh, see firstly whether they do indeed explain the observation and secondly whether those um, explanations will explain other observations uh, and other features maybe in this observation or this type of observation. But of course, Flat Earth is not prepared to uh, come up with that. Now, my I, there's been one response video uh, to this um, and I'm gonna make a separate video uh, dealing with that. Uh, but in that um, response video, all that was done was an attempt was made to criticise my original video. So criticising the pictures, criticising some of the claims that I make in the video and saying that I don't have justification for those claims and so on and so forth. I'm really not interested in going down that road just yet. I'm quite happy to have my uh, observation, my videos um, critiqued. Uh, that's not a that's not a problem that should go with the territory. Um, but at this stage I'm simply trying to do what flat earthers always uh, refuse to do, which is to uh, establish a two alternative explanations for the observations that we see in the real world. And then to do something which is kind of scientific, and that is to put those explanations to the test. Uh, do they actually explain the observation that we're talking about? And secondly, uh, do they explain all the other observations that we make or not. So this is going to be a short uh, video, simply restating the point yet again. And I am today working a little bit on a video in which I provide all the details. But I'm going to give Flat Earthers a few more days to um, come up with a simple, in principle, explanation for this kind of observation on a flat earth. How is this sort of observation possible on a flat earth? Be because if you can't provide that kind of simple, in principle explanation, then really you have nothing. And it's fairly pointless, therefore, to continue to have uh, 
you know, it, it, or to try to make any kind of claims that the Earth might be flat. The old mantra of flat earthers was, do your own research. Now, what they actually meant by this was, please watch all our flat earth videos. Uh, but of course, what doing your own research is, is going out into the field and looking at the earth with a critical eye and trying to determine by looking at the earth, what shape it might be. And that's what I've done. So flat others, come on, let's actually look at some real in the field uh, research and please give me some in principle explanations based on a flat earth for this particular observation. Now, thanks for watching and uh, look out uh, before the end of this week, I will provide um, a video which has a lot more details uh, of the observation uh, and than, uh, than this and uh, we can see just how well this observation actually matches the spherical earth predictions.